video, we are going to learn how to differentiate using calculator. Or we are going to learn how to find derivative using calculator, especially with Casio FS N01 EX plus calculator or FS 570 calculator in seconds. So ensure you stay with me to the end of this video. Now, if you are using the white Casio calculator, the white 570 ES calculator or the white 901 ES calculator, I have already produced a video on it. So check the calculus calculator tricks or technique playlist. You will see it so that you will learn how to do it with that calculator. But for this particular 570 or another one ES calculator, this black one, the method is a bit different. Now the difference is just in how you store a number and how you change the mode of the calculator for differentiation of derivative with the Casio calculator. Because having done that, let's dive in into the details of this video. Okay, so the questions I have here, I have two questions, just two questions. Now after solving these two questions with you, I guarantee you that you'll be able to solve any first derivative question with the Casio calculator, especially with another one ES or 570 ES plus. Okay, guys. Now the first question I have here says find the y over the x if y equals x exponential raised to the power and the story x. Now guys, I want to say um, a very important thing that will help you in the long run when it comes to the sense of differentiation of the derivative. Now, in differentiation of derivative, this particular question, another term for phase derivative is y prime. Is it that you say phase derivative or y prime or the y over the x? So these three terms they mean the same thing, not like here. In this question, they are using the y over the x. There are some questions you see they use y prime instead of the y over the x. So don't be confused when you see y prime or the y over the x. They both mean what the same thing. Okay, so for this particular question, now when it comes to solving derivative or differentiation with the calculator, very important guys. Now note that your calculator has to be in radius mode, not in degree. Very important. You have to put it. In reduce mode and two is that you have to work with a stored value which i recommend two i can choose any other number of value but i recommend what two because i've packed it with two for a long time and i have not found any error with it so guys so let's particularize what i'm just saying now so that you see it see the results of what i'm just telling you the first we have to do here is to clear before we put into consideration the two things I've told you so far. So the essence of clear is to put your calculator in default mode. Now because you might not know whether you have computed or performed previous calculation with a calculator in a different mode. So to avoid unnecessary error from the current one I want to do, all you simply have to do is to clear to put in default mode. To clear I press shift button nine when it's too much, I want to clear all first three initialized, unlike in the white one. In this option, to all, all, what they would do is just all, oh, but here the the word initialized or almost the same thing. The first three, very quotes, very quotes again. Okay, guys, so we have clear what the calculator. Now, the next thing you have to do now is to store. A number or before you start let's put the calculator in reduce mode no, not forget very important so to put it in reduce mode simply press shift this menu now option two angle unit press two now the calculator already is in degree so to remove from the green to radian you press two so it's now in radian not longer in degree very important guys very, very important okay so now let's start to in the calculator to start a number I put a number first this is to shift 
store. Oh, sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Very important. You see, this pattern is for the white calculator. Now, for this particular calculator, you don't press shift. You don't press shift. You just press this store STU first. You press this button first and the alphabet want to store it as want to store it as X. You press X. Okay, sorry. You just press store and X. Once you do indicate here that word, two has been stored word as X in the calculator. If I'm done, guys, don't go and press shift. If you press shift, it will show you something else and you might be confused. So remember, don't press shift. Always remember, just press stuff. Direct, press store and alphabet. Unlike the white one, you have to press shift before you press store. But in this black one, all you have to do is to press store first and the alphabet you want to store it as oh that's understood it's as simple as that guys so having stored two as x in this calculator so let's go ahead and solve this question now what, what we're going to do here is to differentiate the question and simplify or evaluate the options so let's differentiate the question we have the function now that term for y is f of x in calculus if they want to use f of x use y unlike here they didn't use f of x they are using what y so let's differentiate this to bring out the derivative of the x symbol on this calculator. All you have to do is press sheets, then this button, integral button, you press it, it will come out the by the x. So let's input the value. We have x, so where the x is stored in the calculator, you press alpha first, then this alphabet, this button, next to come out exponential. Look at the exponential I'm going to use, the one that has power. So you press shift, then this lane button to come out. There is power minus what three x that alpha x alpha x. Then go by here and put the two restored. And do you install three when you get a put two? But since we start to what we are going to put here is what two. It's as simple as that, guys. Let's put the coordinates we are going to have minus zero point zero one two. Yeah, so let's simplify the options now and see the one that give us exactly minus 0 0.012 and that will be our answer. Guys, right, very, very simple. So let's begin with option A. So let's simplify option A. Option A, we have minus 3 alpha x, okay, exponential shifts this name button, there's the power minus 3x alpha x. Okay, so let's put the what we have. Minus 0 0.014, no. What we got was minus 0 0.012. Let's check option B. Let me just adjust it here so I know it's time. So the difference, let me just add exponential again. Shift this name button. Minus 3x alpha x. Very, very simple, guys. So, that's what we have. The equation so we have is that this guy. This is the answer minus zero point zero one two. So that was what we got. Let's check option C and see what it will give us. What difference? Let me simply adjust this. Okay, the difference there is to remove this minus two plus and see what it give us. No zero point no. We have minus zero point zero one two. Okay, let's check. Option D. Option D is, is similar to this one. This one gave us, I think, gave us minus 0.014. But let's confirm. Let's verify. Yeah, okay. This one gave us yeah, minus 0 0.014. So, guys, the answer is what? Option B. Because it's the one that gave us exactly what we got when we differentiated this which is minus 0 0.012 so it's as simple as that guys as simple as that guys so this is the idea now let's show one more example so that you understand this very very well make sure you stay till i finish solving this example too, so that the thing we we be clear to you hope you're following guys now if you're new to our channel make sure you subscribe to our channel now by hitting the subscribe button for more of our videos also, give this video a thumbs up to help the algorithm of this video. 
it's very important guys now what we do basically is in the school is that we help young scholars like you with tips and techniques that will help you to solve your academic problems easily so if such things interest you ensure you subscribe now for instant notifications anytime we release new videos okay guys so let's for example two for example two we don't need to clear because we are still going to work with the work with the two we have already stored it's only when we want to store a different number that we have to kill about since we're not going to work with a different number as a stored value we are still working with the two we stored so there's no declaring so what we are going to do now for person two just differentiate shift the derivative symbol press shift and this integral button the derivative symbol will come out so differentiate this okay starting with brackets open brackets put 4 power 4 x alpha x raised to power 3 very simple guys plus 2 close the brackets now what's okay the power there is 5 5 so that's what we have right yes correct so let's go and put it to be stored now guys one more thing you have to take note is that ensure your bracket are balanced very important guys if the bracket is not balanced you end up having the wrong value as you can see here we have two brackets at the left hand side and here i was having two brackets at well, the right hand side ensure your bracket are balanced remember you are working with the bracket so that you're not in the having centers error very important so having done this let's play the chords and see what we are going to have this is change so if you want to solve it manually or showing or working you apply change rule to solve it on Christian okay so what, what value do we have there wow what a big value we have 320 million 720,640 okay guys so let's check the option let's simplify the option and see they want to give us exactly this value this number let's begin with option a i'm going to simplify them for example guys so we have 60 x alpha x square okay bracket we have 4 x alpha x raised to power 5 all right come down very important make sure you come down plus 2 close the bracket then raised to power 4 okay so let's play the corner and see what this will give us no so this is not what we got let's check option b let's just go back adjust it and make necessary changes okay here we have 30 and see what it's going to give us yeah no we have 220 million option c says none okay let's check option d what the difference okay so what the same thing with this one the only difference is here 60 guys so put 60 yeah so let's very quiet and see what we're going to have now yeah 220 million is that me so guys our answer is on option d it's as simple as that so that this is how you can solve derivative questions or uh, if you're using the calculator with calculator 570 or uh, another one yes plus calculator is in a matter of seconds so this, these are the tricks these are the hacks or techniques that are used to solve problems involving derivative or differentiation with the calculator calculator i hope you learned something interesting you have gotten value you have gotten the knowledge that way simplify your work for you so guys that's it for this video one once more if you're new to our channel share subscribe to our channel for more of our videos also like share and comment on this video to tell me how you feel regarding what you have learned in this class if you seem to have any specific question to ask feel free to feel free to leave your question at the comment section below and i'm sure to give you a response don't forget to clear your calculator once you are done press shift button 9 for the instruction that's all so guys that's it for this video thanks for watching